What's going on guys? I am finally bringing you another pack opening video. Uh, no team of the year though, so no crazy intro. There are though a ton of awesome cards out right now. Uh, this is the first time so far this year we can actually pack Merrill Lemieux. Nice seven overall, that would be insane. Tons of other Nations of Hockey cards, um, all very, very good to pull. Um, we've also got some other awesome cards like the SHL Champions there, so a bunch of Polunda cards, some more Diamonds, Primetime Ranting wouldn't be too bad, a bunch of high rated Milestones, Stanley Cup cards, um, there's a ton to pull. So I wasn't actually going to do a pack opening, but if you guys um, follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you might have saw I actually pulled a Stanley Cup and Jamie Benn uh, last week. Randomly, I did like the second last set where you get a gold pack from your monthlies, and he just happened to be in there. So, sold him for 550k. Obviously, now we can open up a bunch of packs, hopefully, get lucky. We'd love to pull another Stanley Cup card. Jamie Ben was actually my first of the year, so uh, we'll see what happens here. I do have a couple gold rare player packs to open up first. Um, obviously, can't trade these, but if we get like 97 Lemieux or whatever, I'm gonna be happy. Alright, so 84 goes to the first one, that's not too bad. Um, honestly, I've been getting mostly 80s in these lately anyways, so um, anything that maybe could be useful, I'm not going to complain about. Okay, a couple flyers there, so I'm not sure if there's any really good flyers in packs right now, but um, if there are, maybe that's a good sign somebody will get. We'll skip this gold pack here. Uh, it's untradeable because it's a free one. We get Broussard there and Hornkvist. So, I mean, two gold rares, free gold pack. Probably can actually use that for another reroll. Now, this premium Stanley Cup pack here, this is from the event, so I think think it's not going to be tradable, but um, obviously still would love to get a collectible. You can maybe do that reroll set. Something of value. So here we go. Connor McDavid. Okay. I mean, obviously, it's his base card. is not worth as much as it was, but this is actually my first time this year playing Connor McDavid at all, so I'm happy. I wish it would happen in September opposed to May, um, but <laughs> Connor McDavid cannot complain. Um, unfortunately, don't get a collectible there, but I feel like I can probably find a spot for McDavid uh, somewhere in the lineup. All right, guys, hoping I can keep the pack luck going here. Uh, just gonna rip some Stanley Cup playoff packs. I was thinking about maybe doing an ultimate pack, but honestly, they've been pretty bad for me all year. So um, we'll open up this pack. Obviously, I like to the fact that they're cheaper than Stanley Cup packs, so that's kind of awesome. Obviously, it just means we can open more of them. So we're looking for a Stanley Cup card. Um, like I said, Jamie Ben is the only one I've pulled so far. It's a good one to pull. Also, we get a collectible there, but. I uh, would love to get one more. Roman Yossi, um, he's going to have that like vote card or whatever with Duncan Keith come out. Come on. Hopefully we can get another collectible at least. Barkov there. Okay, so lots of gold rares. Two collectibles. So honestly, not too bad a pack. And you know what, guys? We're going to try another premium pack here. I know like for the collectible, the odds aren't as good. Uh, I think like for that, you just want to open up the 80k. Um, good chance of getting two, but we'll blow this one up. See if we get another good pull. Okay, we got some stuff. We got Team Week hints. I saw it was a Team of the Week. Could have been better. Aaron Ekblad as well, I saw. Um, plus a collectible, though. So, honestly, uh, so far, and we get a gold rare uh, Dvorak there. So, I'm pretty happy with both uh, 50Ks we've opened. Just remember, too, they're 40Ks, not 50Ks. But you know what? We're going to try a 20K here. What I'm thinking is, if it's good, we'll open up another 20K. If it's bad, 120K and we're done. So, um, we'll see here what this one has for us. So, so far, we're not opening up another one. Varlamov and a bronze, yeah, so no more 20Ks. We need at least like a collectible or a Stanley Cup card, even if it was low rated. Um, I think we go back to an 80K here. I think it's time to uh, bring out some methods. Let's try the pen pack here. So far, honestly, aside from like no Stanley Cup cards, I'm pretty happy with the pack that we've had. Right there, another collectible as well. That's awesome to see. Again, I do think the 80K just kind of gives you the best odds because, yeah, two collectibles. There we go. Dustin Bufflin, not bad. Obviously, we'd love to see a Stanley Cup card, though, as well in this pack. Alright, so no Stanley Cup card, but I mean, every time we get a collectible, obviously, I uh, can use that for the set. Uh, if we don't have enough to, like, get a guaranteed card, obviously, can do the 33% reroll and hope for the best there. So, I'm thinking we go another 40k. Like, they've been pretty good so far. Um, I'm thinking, what do we do here? Let's do the player info, maybe. Haven't done that one yet. Alright, so first card we can't even do it on. This bronze guy here. Here we go. Uh, code Eakin, Kunakle, Hextall. So there's the Flyers card you're looking for. Um, Oreg and Bertuzzi. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. So hopefully we got a collectible because the players in this pack were not very good. Uh, silver collectible. I saw the alumni Hextall. Kind of was like happy for a second. I remembered. No, I already know who that is. Not that great. All right. So the 80Ks definitely are like your best bang for your buck. I'm thinking I might just stick there. Uh, fit, or the 40K pack might have already run dry there after the first two. 
and I think we'll blow this one up here. Hope for the best. Kylock post at the start. We get a collectible. Only one, though. For like a half second, I thought that might have actually been a Stanley Cup card. Jonathan Duran, not much else. And you know what, guys? There's no the 80k packs, a blue pack, so might as well throw on the blue shades here. Come on. Usually the shades, I feel like they usually give us pretty good pack luck. So, here we go. Still looking for our first Stanley Cup card. Still pretty happy with the Comic David and the collectible luck, but... The point of this is to get a Stanley Cup pull. Come on. Um, so we're only going to get... Alright, we get the one collectible. They're right next to each other. TJ Brody, Trangelo, Galchenyuk. There's some gold rares. Hopefully that's not all of them. Come on. Nenny's Payarvi. Dougie Hamilton. Alright, so I'd say that's an average pack. And next one here, guys, we're going to go eyes closed. Uh, we'll go through the entire thing. Hopefully there is a Stanley Cup card waiting for us. I assume by this point... Point. It should be there, so we're going to go across. Again, hopefully you guys just saw a Stanley Cup card. We do have a collectible right off the bat. I'm happy with that. I'll only one again. March or so. Come on. Fiala, Niskin, Shifley. So we're getting like decent, you know, base card pulls, but no Stanley Cup cards for some reason. Alright guys, I feel like we need a big change here. Get us some luck, so... Here we go. The uh, Hockey Stick Pack. I think it had luck for us last time we did this. Uh, road hockey stick. Here we go. Hopefully, this uh, Shearwood can give us some luck. Please, EA. All right. So get the healing card off the bat. Jacob Truba, Orlov. Come on. There's a collectible. Hopefully, we get two as well. We've been getting one like what the last three. Um, Athens, see you. Silver collectible, man. So that's like four straight. I think only one collectible there in the 80Ks. Oh shit! Darnell Nurse, 93. There is the pack luck. Okay, so still no Stanley Cup card, but 93. Um, Darnell Nurse, 99 speed. Shot actually is a bit low. He's probably got sick defensive stats. He does. 93 shot block and stick check. Pretty decent hands. 93 body check, 93 strength. Really good synergies as well. Jeez. Uh, four to heavy hitter. Four to passing playmaker. And he's left-handed. Honestly, I need kind of help on my left, or I guess I put him on the right. So right side D. I might honestly just hold on to that Darnell Nurse. There we go, so the hockey stick pack coming through. Love to see it. Okay, so next one here. Thinking, we gotta just pull up more methods. That's what I'm thinking. So, water bottle pack, here we go. You gotta finish the drink before the animation's done or pack luck is ruined. Here we go. Derek Broussard, um, Car Carlson there. So there's two Washington, or actually, Pittsburgh, Washington, I don't even know. Uh, Stanley Cup, Winnipeg, Collectible, Diamond Dylan, Varlamov, come on. We get two collectibles, so I'm pretty happy with that. With Nylander there, Dale Howard, Chuck's an alumni, lots of gold, another gold rare. This pack's actually gotten quite a bit. Honestly, like, no big pull, but, like, we got enough stuff there to kind of make it okay. And looking at our coins right now, guys, I think we can open up four more 80k packs. I'm thinking, though, we'll open up 240s first. Uh, just, you know, give us two more rolls, and then we'll do three 80ks to end it off. Um, obviously, if we don't get a Stanley Cup card in any of these, hopefully we get lucky in one of the uh, reroll sets. Stastny there, so no collectible, that kind of sucks. Jack Eichel. <sighs> the 40Ks, they're not the greatest it seems, might have just had uh, good luck there at the beginning. Could also open up 220s right now instead. Let's do 220s, obviously want to leave us with 240k for the final 380ks. I said I was going to open up another one of these, I'm hoping it can come through here. At least a collectible, there we go, we get the collectible. Um, and literally nothing else, but uh, the collectible on its own actually more than pays for 20k pack, so cannot be too upset. A little bit up and down. Um, what are we going to do for this one? I'm thinking we just skip skip the pack. <laughs> Come on, bronze collectible. Okay, so three more packs to go here, guys. You know what time it is. 80k pack, dry saddle 3. I don't think there's any crazy dry saddle packs right now, but hopefully this works for us. Here we go. A collectible off the bat, cannot complain. Um, obviously, we'd love to get two. Dylan Larkin there. Um, that's a good sign. Obviously, one of my favorite players. Hopefully, we get two collectibles here. Joe Pavelski. Come on. Milan Lucic. Ryan O'Reilly. Another collectible. So, we get two collectibles. That's kind of all we're hoping for. No great pull, but yeah, we're not going to be too upset with that. Um, so, next one here, I'm thinking, let's try the white shades. I, already, I honestly already forget if the blue shades did anything. A little bit up and down there. And... Uh, Make it a nose pack. I'm pretty sure that's what we pulled the uh, 99 Team Year Rally on, so here we go. Come on. Collectible. Happy there. 
Johnny Bauer, another collectible. So collectible pack, or the collectible luck is back. Shea Weber's a good player. The base cards aren't really worth a lot. Same goes for Voracek. Had really good base card luck so far. That's about it. Come on. Red Wings Arena? Alright, so really nothing there. Um, last pack, what should we do? I'm thinking, leave the room pack, the last one. Here we go. Alright guys, again, I remembered, uh, you only see the one card because I forgot to skip it. Uh, so let's see if leaving the room gives us some pack luck. Uh, only one collectible max, unfortunately. I want to be okay with no collectibles if we get a Sunday Cup card. Come on, please EA, no collectible, I said I'd be okay with that though, with a Stanley Cup card, only a few more to open up, please, Thomas Hurdle, I think, does he have one? I feel like he definitely should, he's been tearing it up, it's kind of a rough last pack, but uh, hopefully I have some luck here with the sets. Alright guys, so for the Stanley Cup sets, my original plan was just to do as many of the 33% rerolls as we could. I uh, think it'd be like two or three, but we actually have 19 collectibles, so we have enough to do the round two player set, which guarantees us a Stanley Cup card, and it could be a 99. Hope for the best. Obviously, we want someone that's already like mid-90s, and hopefully, I'm thinking like, gonna win their series, so um, Carolina would honestly be ideal since they already won, but um, we'll see what happens here. We get to choose one of two. Hopefully, we get somebody good there. Obviously, that'll be the last one we go out on. Um, again, haven't pulled a Stanley Cup card yet, so at least we do get a guaranteed one there. I would have hated if we opened up, like, three of the 33 percent packs, and we didn't get a single Stanley Cup card in any of the three. Like, that has sucked so much. And as you guys saw there, like I said, uh, Merrill Amuse in packs. If he could show up for us in one of these gold rare re-rolls, that'd be insane. We'll go middle pack there. Please, EA. Come on. Merrill Lemieux, Super Mario. Athanasi. We already got him. He's fast. I like him. Uh, just not the time we're looking for him. Next one here, something we can use, something that can make our team, doesn't even have to be Lemieux, Silverberg, not quite that, so here we go guys, last pack of the episode, guaranteed Stanley Cup card, hoping for a good one, get the pump up music going here, please EA, bit of up and down, come on, let's get something here, here we go, first card, 96 Pavelski, okay, I'm happy with that, honestly, I think the Sharks going to win the series, so uh, he'll be in 99, and he'll have, oh, that's actually sick, two to be you, two to find shooting, net front presence, clutch player, that's a very good card. Uh, so already I'm happy, I'm pretty sure he's worth about the price that we traded the collectibles in for, so already good. Who's the next one going to be? Come on, 96 Jamie Ben. okay, so I mean, the second time full Jamie Ben kind of fitting. I'm not going to lie guys, when I saw the players I get in round two, I thought, you know what, I'm probably going to end up with Jamie Ben again. Of course that's what happens, so... Um, I actually forgot, both these teams have three wins in the second round, they just haven't been updated yet, so they're actually both 98s right now. Uh, like I said, they're both sick cards. Personally though, I'm leading Pavelski, I've already gotten a Jamie Ben. I think the Sharks, like I said, are going to win against the Avs. The Stars, if I had to pick a team between the Stars and the Blues, I'd be picking the Blues for that game 7. And if both of them win, they're both 99s. Uh, Pavelski has 90 faceoffs, so he could also be used at center. Also, I think his synergies are a bit better there with BU. Um, I'm going to go Joe Pavelski here. It would be awesome, too, if he's, like, a hero, comes back um, in the conference finals healthy and just, you know, helps lead that Sharks team to the Seneca final, which is actually where I predicted them to go. As bad as my predictions were, maybe I can at least get that right. So, uh, Joe Pavelski there, I'm very happy with that. Um, so, there we go. Good way to go, out, guys. Um, it took us to the very last pack. We got an awesome Stanley Cup card. And if the Sharks do win, I think we're actually still making coins. Um, even with the price of the collectibles. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. And if you're wondering when the next pack opening is, honestly, I have no idea. As you can see there, I don't have too many coins left. But if we do sell some cards, uh, maybe there'll be one in the not-too-distant future. So stay tuned for that if it does happen. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.